Hi, my name is Alexey Konosevich. I would like to talk about regulations of ICOs, initial coin offerings, and crypto exchanges in Australia, and what exactly the Australian Senate uh, said about it in their last report. This is the fourth video in the series of videos on blockchain state about the final report of the uh, Select Committee on Australia's Technology and Financial Centre published in October 2021. Overview of Digital Assets Regulation in Australia Digital assets are generally not prescriptively regulated in Australia. Several regulators have a current role or potential future role in regulating these products. In particular, certain digital asset businesses must register with the Australian Transaction Reports and Analysis Center, or STRAC, to manage potential anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing risks. Digital assets that meet the definition of financial product under the Corporation Act 2001 are subject to regulatory oversight by ASIC. Companies dealing with these financial products need to hold an Australian Financial Services License AFSO, or an Australian Market License, depending on the circumstances. The Australian Taxation Office ATO oversees the collection of tax revenue arising from digital asset businesses and transactions and provides guidance on the circumstances in which tax accrues. A number of other regulatory bodies may also affect businesses operating in the digital assets space. For example, the RBA, Reserve Bank in Australia, has responsibility for payments policy and monitoring the development of digital assets intended for use as payment mechanisms, such as stable coins. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission regulates how businesses can market and sell products to consumers, and the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority supervises authorized depository institutions who provide services to digital assets businesses. Overview of ASIC regulation and licensing. Companies seeking to provide financial products or services, that is, operate a financial services business, need to apply to ASIC for an AFSL. Companies seeking to operate a financial market in Australia, such as a stock exchange, need to apply to ASIC for a market license. These licenses involve a range of obligations for licensees. Under the current regulatory framework, the question of whether a particular crypto asset is within or outside the financial regulatory framework depends on particular characteristics of the crypto asset offering. ASIC noted in this report that these can cause uncertainty for investors and consumers as well as issuers and distributors of these assets. ASIC does not provide advice to companies seeking to launch an initial coin offering or other digital asset offering about whether a product is likely to qualify as a regulated financial product. They say be prepared to justify a conclusion that their ICO doesn't involve a regulatory financial product. Most crypto assets that are currently available to Australian retail investors via Australian-based digital currency exchange provider or overseas-based trading platforms fall outside of ASIC's regulatory perimeter, meaning that companies offering these products do not need to hold an AFSL license or a market license. For example, crypto exchanges that exchange only cryptocurrency they don't need that license. Only when they start selling security tokens, they, they need to, to get that license. And uh, for instance, if you've got an account on Binance and specify that your residency in Australia, 
you will be able to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on. But when you click on any crypto token, the system will notify that you can't buy it. Nevertheless, any crypto exchange needs authorization from OSTRAC as this body monitors money laundering and other illegal financial activity. Guidance on initial coin offerings and crypto assets. ASIC has provided guidance to industry on crypto assets and initial coin offerings ICOs in its information sheet 225 initial coin offerings and crypto assets info 225 issued in 2017 and then updated in March 2019. This information sheet describes how obligations under the Corporation Act and the ASIC Act may apply to ICOs and businesses involved with crypto assets. If you want to launch your ICO in Australia, you really need to read it through as it gives almost all the answers. In a nutshell, the document states that security tokens are financial products and they must be registered with ASIC. Once they're registered, they can be traded on regulated exchanges. So those crypto exchanges that haven't got the license uh, can't trade the security tokens. That's it for this video. If you haven't seen my previous videos on crypto regulations in Australia, find the link down below to the list of these videos. Hit like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. See you in the next video.